What is up everybody? Hungry Cabbygon here. Uh, I've got some more Night Unison today. So, it hasn't treated me like super well so far, but I, I do like the artworks in this set a lot. Seems like there's some good cards in here, definitely. Um, also seems to be a very low value set, like at the moment at least. This can change, like don't get me wrong, uh, but it doesn't seem to be that uh, anything that ex super expensive in here at the moment. But it's funny because, you know, stuff from old sets can suddenly, you know, just become really expensive all of a sudden and then you just can't get them because you can't buy those packs anymore. So the price, like, can go up a lot. So I've had things like that before where a card that you're just like, oh, I got like 10 of them and suddenly it's worth like a whole bunch of money. So, um, yeah, it can happen. So, you know, you never know. But at this stage, at least this early stage, um, is generally when things are going to be at their most expensive. So this is the time when you want to get your really good pull. Generally, generally speaking, but that's not always the case. But anyway, hopefully we can pull something good today. We want to get, uh, GX wise. We want to get Dedene. He's the, he's the boy we want to get. Um, but yeah, apart from that, um, what else is good? The, uh, alternate art of these two guys is, is reasonably expensive as is the one of the, the Gardevoir and the, uh, Sylveon. Those ones tend, they, I don't know, they seem to be hard to get. They don't seem to be like that common to pull, um, which might be why they're quite expensive. But, um, yeah, hopefully if we at least just get a regular GX, we want the Dene, that's the one. Alright, what are we talking in this pack? Oh, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> why, <laughs> why? Alright, Venomoth is like, this set, in this set is the bane of my existence. We got a GX though, so I shouldn't complain, but that's not the one we want. That is definitely not the one we want to get. Although, to be honest, like, it doesn't seem half bad, really. Um, but it's just, yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't want to talk about it, but it's, it's very, 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 very low value, let's say. Um, all right, let's hope that we can uh, top that a little bit. It's, at least we got a GX early, that's good, but um, that is not the one. <laughs> that is the last one we want to get, to be honest. There's only four in the set. You know, we should, we should, on all probability, be able to get the Dedene eventually. But if you might have seen uh, previously when I was having trouble getting the Eevee and Snorlax GX, it can take a while. I opened a lot of those packs before I got that. Um, all right, what do we get here? Let's see, Togepi just chilling in a backpack. All right, and this is a Toga Kiss. There we go. We got the uh, the whole gang there. That's pretty cool, and a Pikachu as well. Always nice. All right, so please don't tell me the only thing we get is a Dust Ox. No, Dust Ox. That's what I kept saying in the other video until I realized I was saying the wrong thing. Venomoth. Um, yeah, that's that would make me really sad if that's all we get out of this. All right, this one we have got a fairy charm, ability fairy charm. That's kind of intriguing, that one. That's kind of cool. But I don't know, does anyone use those fairy charms? I'm not sure. There's so many different ones. There's one for basically every type. There's one for ultra beasts. There's all these different ones. And I just wonder, like, how you could possibly make all of them work. How do you know which one to put in your deck for, like, a tournament or whatever, you know? All right, we got uh, Lieutenant Surge. If you haven't seen this, he basically allows you to play two extra supporter cards in your turn. So you can play him and then two more supporter cards in your turn, but you have to have more prizes than your opponents. You have to be like behind in the game, but still that's crazy. Like you got to feel like a lot of people are going to be playing that for sure. There's a lot of just crazy stuff you could do with that. All right, what do we got in here? Just a big old goldfish. That's no good. Seeking. What does he do? Exide Horn. Okay. I don't think anyone's going to be playing that, to be honest. But, um, as I said, you never know. You never know. 
Alright, please give us something else. I'll be super sad if we don't get anything else. I don't want to be greedy, but I just... I don't want to get just a Venomoth. That would be so sad. <laughs> Alright, what do we got in this one? Ugh! Another Kirin, what the... These sets are small. Like, I think it's only 55 cards in the set. So you do get doubles. But, um, in only 10 packs, that's kind of funny to get a double of the same holo. It's not funny. It's really annoying. But <laughs> it's, it's good if you get a good one. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of strange. I don't know how these packs are, you know, shuffled in the box. Or, or in the, the shop when they gave it to me. I don't know how they... They just took them from under the counter, so I don't know if they took just the top 10 or if they like mixed them up, who knows. Alright, and we've got... No wait, that's not the last card. And we've got... Boo. we got a trainer at least, that's good, but... It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Alright, two packs to go. Let's do this, come on. Give me that Dedene. Give me that today, that's what I want. All right, we got the, the hood. We got a Rattata. We got, oh, we got two trainers in one pack. That's not super common. All right, and uh, Malamar, hello. So we've actually done all right in terms of the, we've got five out of nine so far. I've got hollow or more, but man, uh, 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 last pack. Alright, come on. Come on. Give us something. Please, 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 please. Alright, we have got the fairy charm. We have got the little, uh, what's he called? Is it charger bug? I can't remember which one's which. We got the raticate. We got the squid. And we got a Clefable. Uh, no. <laughs> so annoying. Uh, oh well. It happens, you know. We got a GX, so that, that is nice. But we definitely, definitely didn't get the one you want. We definitely <laughs> got the worst one. Um, it's kind of the problem with sets like this, where they don't really have many valuable cards. They might just have like, say one or two. I really could just go buy, like, all the full arts for the price of just buying a box. Like, they're really not that expensive. But you kind of like to have the chance to get the really good card. But at the same time, it's not, like, so good. You know, the most expensive card might be, like, $30 you could sell it for. So it might not necessarily be worth the risk, if you know what I mean. It's not, like, a $100 card you're going to pull. It's only going to be, like, a relatively cheap one. So maybe, I mean, maybe we're just better off just to go buy the ones that we want. But, I don't know, is that as exciting to watch? I feel like it's not that exciting. Just, like, here's some cards that I bought, as opposed to opening the packs yourself. I don't know. So what do you think about that? Like, let me know, because, I mean, that would be good. I could just go buy some cards, and I could get exactly the ones I want. But anyway, I definitely always want to open at least one box of each set, and packs are, are the fun thing to do. But it's kind of nice just to actually get what you want, instead of, like, getting a big old moth GX. All right, so we got Togekiss there. We got a Malma. I think this is like a dollar maybe. So, you know, that's not the worst thing to get. Uh, we got not one, but two Kirims. And then we got the big old moth, the Venomoth GX. And I mean, like I said, it's not the worst card ever. I think it's already only like a dollar to buy it. <laughs> it's super cheap. But I mean, honestly, like it's not that bad. It's got this attack, one grass and two colorless. It can do 110 plus. And if you played, um, who is it, Koga from your hand, uh, it does 90 more damage, which is pretty good. And if you play the other one, what's her name in, Jap in English? I can't remember. The, the girl ninja, their opponent's Pokemon will be uh, paralyzed, I think it is, with this attack. So that's pretty cool. And then it's got this GX attack, which does 60 damage, uh, but you get to discard your hand and draw 10 cards. Or do you have to discard it? I think you just put it back into your deck. But then, yeah, then you can draw 10 cards. So that's, it's not terrible, don't get me wrong, but because you've got Blacephalon pretty prominent at the moment, the, the fire weakness is not 
ideal at this stage. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It might, I don't know. I'm sure people like those big bug eyes. It might see some play. Um, anyway, let me know what you think, guys. Uh, I think I'll definitely be getting some more of this set. Don't worry. Uh, but um, yeah, let me know which cards you like. What do you think we should be trying to get? Uh, check out the channel for more videos. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Take it easy.